in my opinion. Well, hold on just a second. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on just one second. I'd buy that for a dollar. Hold on just a second. Um, I was just informed here that uh, Maria Maria, uh, I, you know, everybody kind of knows Maria Maria, has died today. And uh, that's that's really unfortunate. Um, for all those that don't know, Maria Maria uh, was a big fan of the show. She was in the inner circle. Um, you know, she, uh, you know, anyway, it's, it's just tough to hear. Somebody in the chat room who knows her has uh, validated that she is, she is gone. So Maria Maria, wherever you're at, uh, we miss you. You're a great part of the show, and uh, Godspeed, you know, Godspeed. And I'm not, I'm not fucking doing a rumble rant with that fucking Eddie. All right, it's not, not nothing to troll about, you fucking piece of shit. Anyway, R.I.P. Maria, Maria, and um, cheers to wherever you're at, man. I hope that you're in a better place. All right, man. Uh, let me continue out. Somebody's asking me, why does everybody keep dropping dead all of a sudden? Well, you got to figure that out for yourself. But R.I.P. Maria Maria. R.I.P. All right. Uh, Jesus Christ. We got to move on from that, man. That's rough. That's really rough. Uh, once again, Russia and China bolster its defense ties with substantive talks. LB Capitalist said, rest in peace, Maria Maria. Thank you, LB Capitalist. Um... The reason that they're bolstering ties, or at least get, having this meeting, is because China is the only thing buying Russian goods. Remember, I was just talking about, all right, instead of buying this Chinese crap, and they would fall, they would not have enough people in the international community to buy their crap, and that would be it for China. They know it, and that's why they're playing this fucking song and dance tightrope game with the United States. So that's all there is to it when it comes to that. And uh, let me take this, uh, buy me a coffee here. Put the PC shot on. We had Jatario, who said Type 22 to slap Woodshed with a boneless skin raw banana. And then we got Kits. I know I made jokes about her, but that fucking sucks. Maria Maria had to go like that. Condolences to her family. Uh, I think her mother is still alive. That's what's unfortunate about that. I believe her mother is still alive and to... To see, to see that Maria Maria is gone, it's just, uh, uh, she was a nice woman, very politically active woman. Uh, believe it or not, she actually ran, she was the campaign manager to Dan Bongino's uh, attempts at trying to run for senator in Congress. And, uh, you know, it's a damn shame. R.I.P. Maria, we, we miss you, man. Anyway, once again, uh, this is why... Russia and China are meeting. It has nothing to do with uh, any kind of uh, yeah. oh military pack or any of that shit. It's all economics. It's all economics, man. Anyway, look, it's, I'm sorry if I sound a little down. You know, it's really sad to hear that Maria Maria died. So I'm going to try to ra wrap this up and just try to, you know, you know, try to. I guess we'll do some other show some other day or some shit. Uh, put the PC shot on. Speaking of China. Uh, we've got Duke Orville, who... <laughs> I don't know, some fucking Chinese writing. What the hell is that, Duke Orville? He's got some Chinese writing. And LB Capitalist, nice to bring back Mr. Fortune Cookie uh, when we heard about Maria's death. Nice timing, Ghost. Come on, what are you talking about, man? I have to give the rebuttal to the communist government of China. Don't fuck with me about that, you piece of shit. All right? I'm being broadcasted in China right now. I'm getting into the fucking China market, you fucking piece of crap. Shut up! Jesus fucking Christ. And speaking of China and the drills that had happened had over Taiwan, I talked on the last broadcast as well. With all due respect to my Vietnamese brothers out there, you're now manufacturing our goods, all right, for pennies on the dollar. So thank you very much, like Mr. Fortune Cookie would say. Uh, Vox Artificial, death always comes out of nowhere, and it hits hard. I've started getting into the age where loved ones are passing, and it's never an easy thing to deal with. Always helps to reflect on good memories. I, I do know this. It, it's all you got, man. It's all you got. I think I've spoken to Maria a few times back when I listened to D-Live, and she always seemed like a nice person. R.I.P. 
Well, yeah, I mean, she was a nice person. And for all those that just tuning in, uh, Maria Maria, a uh, very avid listener, she was the mod over there at the D Live, uh, has passed on. And uh, I just want to say thoughts and prayers for her family and, and her loved ones and friends. She had a lot of friends on D Live, had a lot of friends in the streaming world. So, uh, you know, cheers to Maria wherever she's at. I hope she's in a better place. Uh, I agree with Vox Artificials. It's always a very sad thing when when people pass on, man. Uh, anyway, look, um, let me go ahead and end the broadcast because it's just it's hard to talk about all these very serious subjects. And, you know, we just had a death in this uh, community. So. Uh, so let's go to totally useless news and let me get the hell out of here. All right. Uh, now we're going to the totally useless news section. And I don't know, maybe I chose some bad totally useless news but uh who knows maybe not but oy vey and a five finger prostate punch can i play a song for maria maria well i i can't i'll be copyright struck on a couple of platforms but i'll do it on the ghost show she loved the ghost show she would call into the ghost show we're gonna we'll dedicate the next ghost show for maria maria all right that's the uh, uh, that, which will probably be on thursday all right, so next uh, show, next go show is for Maria Maria. RIP to Maria Maria for all those that don't know. Maria Maria uh, has passed on. She was a great person. Uh, I've talked to her many times. Had very, very fun uh, voice chats with her, the inner circle. Uh, very, very good person. And, uh, you know, I think the earth lost another, another good one, man. And Purple Juice 38, hey, Ghost, it's your birthday, man. Well, thank you. I'm glad it's your birthday, Purple Juice, all right? I didn't. I don't know if you heard. I know you're a selfish fucking prick that lives in a, I don't know, caboose or something. But Maria Maria passed on, all right, jerk off. I don't know if you fucking heard that, all right? That's great. Yay, it's my birthday. We're fucking mourning somebody who was very important to the fucking community, all right? So, so happy fucking birthday, you fucking inconsiderate prick. All right, man. Anyway, I'm going to get the hell out of here. Thank you all for tuning in with me. If you want to chat with me, if you want the exclusive trading card that's exclusive to True Capitalist Radio members, join the membership, baby. That's all you got to do. Join the membership. I'll see you all in there. We're going to be talking about other subject matters that's probably going to be on the next Go Show. And I want to say cheers to each and every one of you that have listened to this broadcast, all right? I know we got some goddamn troll terrorists and cyber vermin that are you know sneaking around here with their teeth out and all that shit. But I'm glad that you folks are here chilling like some insane villains. All right? Doing some c communist killing for a living. All right? Anyway, thank you all for tuning in with me. Follow me on X, by the way. All right? Follow me on X because I like to occasionally, whenever I don't do a show, uh, is do a, uh, what do you call it? An X space or some shit? What do you call it? X space? Which is exclusively on X. So follow me on X. All right? The Ghost Report. All one word, no underscores. The Ghost Report. All right, make sure to follow that account. All right, and I, I, oh, I like to post on there. Hey, I think it's a good product. It's the only product that I like from Elon Musk, and he didn't even create it. All right, he just owns the shit. So I don't mind paying for it. It's a decent product, and he ain't running it like Jet Jack piece of shit Dorsey. I ain't that piece of crap. You can tell him I said that. Fuck you, Jack Dorsey, you fucking homo. Anyway, with that being said, thank you all for tuning in with me. R.I.P. Maria Maria. Godspeed. And until next time, I'm out of here. <laughs> I will remember you. Will you remember me? Don't let your love pass you by. We've not fallen in memory. We're not going to go there. Yeah, We're not going there. Yeah, thank That's you. not necessary. That is absolutely not necessary, is right. <laughs> you don't need to know. Does not need to bring know. Me on with Marie. Hold on, I think somebody wants to be on the horn with you there. El Foxo, you there? All right, bring him on. Hey, how, how's it how's it going, Maria? Long time no oh, speak. Actually, I've actually never spoken to you, and I lied. I, I wanted to talk about that cool submarine shit. Yeah, but you didn't really want to talk. 
No, I don't really care about you. Like, I, I, like you're meaningless to me. I want to talk about that well, stuff. Right? So, like, I mean, it's kind of crazy that like, like three crazy. things it happen. Happens. The Nord Stream pipeline gets destroyed a few days later. Like, like the yeah. submarine implodes, and then it turns uh -huh. out Free goes in with all the submarine. I mean, nobody gives a shit about that. History. I mean, it's kind of like... Uh, Prigo Zinn was not on the submarine, that. dude. Prigo Zinn was in an airplane that got sh blew on a blown out of the sky. What are you talking about? Yeah, and it just so happened to happen over, like, the same spot as the Titanic. And the Nord Stream pipeline, like, two days afterwards. Like, come on. Dude, the Nord Stream pipeline was blown up fucking November 2022. Right. Wait, what? Oh, jeez, get this fucking guy out of here. Yes, it was! Yes! I fucking covered it, for fuck's sake! Jesus Christ, dude. Anyway, sorry, Maria. I thought that El Foxo Loco... I thought El Foxo Loco had something serious to say. Obviously, you know, I don't know. He's high on ketamine or some shit. Look what we're doing. Look what we're doing. So, yeah, that ain't gonna happen. Anyway, I had, to, I had to take D-Live off the screen because of Yak Ass, the Park Street legend, you know? But oh, why do you allow this? Why do you continuously bore yourself out at, you know, our expense? How am I what? whoring myself out, man? Yak Ass has already thrown 75 bucks and is like, hey, you know, I, you know, I don't want... He threw, nine, he threw 900...